technology and innovation are pushing our world into the future. All with the promise of making our lives better. Today, Dr. Fazia Ucha of Imran Corporation will be speaking with Kai Coelho of Intel Corporation. Intel Corporation is one of the largest semiconductor chip makers in the world. So Kai, at Intel, um, you were a part of the safety and security aspect. Um, in terms of that, how is that technology being used? Yes, um, I really love that question because I think that that is something that I found so inspiring to me while I was in that role is I think people have the often idea of physical security in a more traditional way where you're maybe using it um, to secure a premises with using video recording or maybe you're using it for access control to badge in and badge out to give people the appropriate access to a property or maybe a certain area. But I think one of the things that gave me so much hunger and passion for the physical security and safety security vertical as a larger whole is that really it is a horizontal and it can be applied in so many different ways. And it is essentially the same concept, but it can drive so many different different outcomes across retail applications, across manufacturing applications across such a variety of industries. And I think that is something that really, truly inspired me that when we think about Intel and we think about the Intel inside piece of what is truly powering our solutions, I think I once heard that in a physical security solution, there can sometimes be up to, on average, 14 different components that make up one solution. And to think that Intel is just one piece of it, but it is the piece that is underpinned that is helping to orchestrate the much larger compute project that is going on uh, for the solution to be able to work properly. And I think that it inspires me so much to know that there are different people at Intel and our teams who are thinking so thoughtfully about the different use cases, even though they are so far and so wide. I did that in reverse, but uh, so vast and um, it is exciting to know that even though it is the silicon under these hugely different solutions, we are able to apply the same thing and do so many different things with it. Well, that's that's a pretty uh, thoughtful answer. Um, there's uh, clearly a lot of enthusiasm um, uh, from your side, uh, Kai. And leading into that, so with physical security, um, how does it play a role in the bigger picture? Now, we think of physical security, like you said, we're getting access, like entry and exit from doors, right? Who, mm -hmm. when, and where. Um, with a bigger picture, how does it tie in with, um, at a macro level, with IoT, AI, and the cloud? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a great question. So I think that we can think of it from, you know, different use cases. Um, retail may be using it to reduce shrinkage or maybe reduce theft to different types of really highly classified and highly private types of situations. I mean, thinking about a funny story actually about physical security, you can use it, of course, I think about badging in and out to maybe high profile types of places, maybe the Pentagon, maybe it's the Intel campus. And uh, mm -hmm. I think that the way that uh, people think about physical security and how it really is important. So, I mean, it, it really is the difference between a potential threat coming into your company or into your space and creating a larger problem. And it is something that we really need to take seriously. And I have a funny story at how seriously we really do take these situations, right? So uh, one time I had a coworker who was badging in and out of campus because we were having a celebratory pizza party that day. So she was helping us to bring in the pizza so that we could give it to the team. Her hands were full though, and she wasn't able to get her badge to the access reader and appropriately follow the process to gain herself access into the building. So one of my other coworkers come, they get the door and they look at the security camera and say like, she's with me, her hands are full, you know, you can see it, I'm gonna let her in. And uh, so she tailgates with the person behind, uh, right? And not even, Two minutes, 90 seconds later, I think somebody from security is at her desk and they're like, you're the pizza lady. 
you need to go to the badge access reader right now and, and walk her over there to make sure that, you know, her credentials are, are there and that they are important and that she is somebody who should be in the building. And so I think, you know, jokes aside, even though we don't necessarily want to be coming after the team member who is just trying to uh, help to deliver pizza, should that be a different type of situation, a different type of scenario, a different instance? Things that may seem silly, like badging in and out of a building, in and out through a door even, could seriously be the difference maker between thwarting off a potential threat and letting us, you know, have a potential vulnerability that ends up putting us in a really bad situation. So I would say that the bigger picture of how physical security plays a role in IoT is maybe not always fully realized. And I would say even partially underrated because uh, another funny story I will share is when I was working with our customers in AI and safety and security, the use cases and the ideas that our creative partners have span so much further also than just physical security. Physical security becomes one element of what we are doing on the journey from edge to data center to eventually cloud or a hybrid mix of the two. I had this one customer who would do fantastic solutions that would help optimize traffic patterns and pedestrian safety. And I think about just, just the journey from leaving my day job at Intel to going home um, maybe 30 minutes away at the time. I have moved recently. So I'll use my physical access security to badge out of the building. I will get in my car. Maybe it is a smart car. Maybe I have data. Maybe my car is in of itself an IoT sensor. I'm using this car now to make my way through traffic to get home. It is crazy. I heard once that there was this statistic, actually, that you will spend approximately 97 hours in a year in traffic. Okay, so if you live to be 85 years old, you will spend almost an entire year of your life just sitting in traffic, sometimes longer, depending where you live. Okay, so you can kiss your 85th birthday goodbye. You're going to spend that entire year sitting in traffic, basically, right? And I'm thinking about this and how there are nine stoplights down the boulevard. And if we could just use AI and video, um, computer vision and video security to be able to align the red, yellow, green so that people can have better traffic flow going all the way home. And then when I get out of my car and I have to cross the street to get uh, all the way to maybe where my front door is, the solution that my customer, I would always think about it. If there was one day a NEMA enclosure on the top of the light pole where I am crossing the street that my customer helped to create the solution for, just probably one of the most full circle moments for me because then I would have been able to directly influence the safety solutions that are being implemented in my very own backyard. And I think that that is truly huge. And past that, you know, I think there is, you finally, the thought of finally being able to make it home. Maybe you're utilizing a smart doorbell to ensure that the people entering your home are people that you want there, or maybe to be able to monitor um, the safety and activity around your home. And now you're inside and you're even maybe utilizing a home digital assistant that helps you to coordinate uh, your day-to-day -day life in a way that is safe and effective and fun for you. So I think that that is such a huge picture of how the ever-growing connectivity of our world continues to influence our lives and physical security plays such a bigger role in it than, than we really think. Oh, absolutely, Kai. I think um, you, you kind of summed it up very well. There, there are so many pieces and knowingly or unknowingly, people are utilizing this technology and it's only going to get better. And we're fortunate that Intel is helping the charge in that direction. Um, now, a piece of that, uh, we talk about IoT, AI, and um, cloud. So there's a lot, well, I, I don't think there's so much now, but there, there has been a little bit of, of fear associated with uh, cloud and more in terms of security or privacy concerns. How does uh, Intel address uh, these privacy concerns? Absolutely, absolutely. I think it is a 
a very real and very valid uh, concern, as we know that as the trend for AI grows, the concern for privacy grows too. It is something that Intel takes very, very seriously. And I think one thing that is super important is that the technology, again, that is underpinned throughout these horizontal and, you know, quite frankly, far-reaching solutions. If it is based on Intel, then you can rest assured that you know that the people who created the compute mechanism that is helping to orchestrate your entire solution have done it with the utmost ethical thought process in mind, with the utmost care uh, for your security and your data privacy and for your um, data integrity as well, because we know that that is something that is at high risk these days too. So I think that something that Intel does very well is making sure that our message, because we don't just stop at edge or cloud or data center, we are going all the way through and through, and we want to be there to help our partners have an extremely private and extremely secure solution all the way from edge to cloud. And so I think when people are concerned about that, or maybe they have an, a growing issue, or maybe a question, a curiosity that they want to go deeper and they want to learn more about in a particular area, and they want to know what Intel is doing to address that particular concern, I really believe that they have done such a great job, the product team has done such a great job of thinking about all of the different privacy and security concerns and finding different avenues to respond to each one and new ones as they arise. So using Intel technology, being an Intel partner, I believe helps you really feel at the end of the day that from start to finish, from edge to cloud, your solution is one that has been thoughtfully secured and people have taken very, very strong lengths to do what they can to privatize it at the most high quality level. And that is something I, I think we're hugely proud of. It's something I'm hugely proud of to be able to share as a value to our partners in, in AI across every deck or um, phase of the of the solution. That's really encouraging to hear, Kai, because um, you know, as as we started here with this with this question, there are a lot of concerns, but um, it, it is encouraging that Intel is doing what it's doing to uh, allay these concerns. Um, and we're, we're actually towards the end or at the end, but before we finish, for final thoughts, could you speak to the Intel mission? Absolutely. Absolutely. I would say, you know, Intel truly, we, we say it, we believe it. I work for Intel. I say it all the time. It's something I have great pride in. We are really on a mission to create life-changing technology that impacts every single life on this planet. And not just in any sort of way, in an ethical way, in a sustainable way, in a way that cares for our present, honors our past, and really thinks about what kind of future we want to create. And also using this technology in a way that empowers goodness for that future. And I think that um, that is one thing that if you are considering Intel technology and the bigger picture that physical security, IoT, and compute plays in the world that we live in, it is really important to be on a journey with a partner who has a mission to leave it better than you found it, I think. And at the end of the day, um, if that's not what we are trying to do with our technology, I think that we need to, um, of course, correct our mission. So <laughs> I think I'm very proud of the mission that Intel is on. And it makes me very happy to work with our partners and do everything I can to support them as I know they are on a mission to do what they can to leverage technology for not just good, but for the very, for the very best in what we can do to create a safer, um, better, more connected and fantastic community for not just us today, but for the future that will um, take over for us. Oh my gosh, what a what a positive message uh, to end this interview. I think you've painted or painting this like amazing picture um, for the present and the future. So I really appreciate your time today, Kai. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having me, Fazia. I really am passionate about this subject and I'm so grateful uh, for, for your thoughtful questions and for asking my opinion. Thank you so much for having me again. Of course, Kai, thank you. Thank you. 
For more information, please visit our website at imran.com.